What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I just got my new iPhone SE. I'm so excited. It's looking a little shady, you know, a little un-Apple-like, but you know, Apple's always surprising us. So let's check out the new iPhone SE. I got my switchblade right here. So uh, we're gonna dig in and I cannot wait to see Apple's take on the iPhone 4 inch edition in 2016. So, uh, I know it's a little unconventional, it's a little different, but man, I'm so excited. And uh, who knew Apple shipped from China, from Shenzhen? I thought they always shipped from the USA, but hey, if I'm getting mine earlier, what does it matter? So here we go. Okay, so wow, that's actually looking a lot like the iPhone 5S box already. So nice gold-plated Apple logo, very nice. Okay, wait a minute. iPhone 5S? I thought I ordered an iPhone SE. Huh, a little baggy on it, interesting. Okay, so let's get this guy out of here. So it looks like Apple's changed their style up a little bit, right? All right, oh wow. So, wow, that looks pretty interesting. iPhone, and we got some weird labels going on here. It says CCC and then a 10. Designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. A whole bunch of Chinese symbols there. Okay, it's all right. Um, there goes that. Definitely uh, machined. So there's that new change, right? Cool. Anyways, there it is. So kind of an interesting design, a little bit from the 5S. Let's power this. Wait a minute. Oh, the power button's still up here, cool. Ah, they ship a dead iPhone. I've never had that. Come on, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go charge this real quick. And okay, guys, obviously by now, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the new iPhone SE clone. Now, the interesting thing about this one is that it was out on the market before Apple even announced the iPhone SE. There's no SE labeling on it everywhere. In fact, it came in an iPhone 5S box, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, let's check out what's inside of it. Man, even the text on this thing looks fake, but we've got our standard fake cables, fake everything, accessories, stuff that might burn your house down if you're not careful. All right, but as uh, as for the actual design goes, these guys went off of the leaked, uh, you know, renders and concepts that they thought might represent this guy, and it's got the curved edge. It's a little bit a little bit slimmer, but it's takes up more space. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, artists from China design take on the SE before release. If you guys remember the uh, other mock-up, basically the 5S with a new shell, it looks a lot like it, but with a recessed 3.5 millimeter jack. Like, come on, is this iPhone 2G era here? And this thing, I could see that being really annoying with cases. Uh, there's that speaker and just the dots, but you know, it's interesting. Looks like a mini iPhone 6. I'm curious to see once it charges up, what's gonna be on it. What are we in for? iOS 10, iOS 11 ripoff, who knows, but you know, build quality is not bad. It's actually aluminum. This thing cost me $250 for this fake. I mean, I could have added a little bit more and got the regular SE for it. Uh, it says I had a fingerprint sensor. As soon as it charges up, I'll test it out. And uh, you know, give me a minute here. Couple funny little details on this guy. Look at how short and stubby these buttons are. <laughs> like a little five-year-old probably would have a hard time pressing these without pressing both of them. This thing is, uh, I think, exact same deal as the 5S, just a little bit bigger. But look at the camera. It actually sits on the antenna line, the bottom of the lens. Like it crosses over it. That's something Apple would never, <laughs> never do. The screen bulges out a little bit. It's like it doesn't fit very well in here, and the buttons feel so on Apple, like they're loose in the little housing. Interesting, so <laughs> besides the labels, of course, which instantly scream China, it wouldn't be too difficult seeing that this is not a real 5S or SE. All right, so this thing has turned on, and wow, I'm just shocked right now. So I decided to go and check the coverage on this IMEI here. Believe it or not, this is an iPhone 5S in a new shell. So these guys literally just took a motherboard and the components from a 5S and stuffed them in a new shell and called it an SE clone. In fact, this thing is just a 5S in a shell. I was surprised because it turned on. I'm like, wow, this looks too close 
to iOS. Usually, you know, things will be look a little off, a little bit different in the case with my iPhone 6S clone, but no, this thing is a fully fledged iPhone 5S inside this shell. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I was looking forward to uh, making fun of this thing, taking a look at it, but nope, I just get a 5S in this shell. I knew it was too good to be true. So guys, there you go. Just to look at the new iPhone SE, same deal, different body. Uh, the real deal, when it'll be here, of course, I'll be reviewing the whole thing, comparing it, all the usual stuff, guys. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, don't order an iPhone SE off of the internet. Spend another 150 bucks and get the real deal. Man, that's kind of funny. I uh, sure fell for that one. I really don't know what I expected with this, but definitely not what happened here. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.